Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here then hello and welcome to your first video. My name is Hazel and today I'm at my first ever apartment. So sorry about any tip tapping around. My little dog is here and she's never visited so she's very excited and keeps like tapping around and running around the place. But today marks a year since I first rented out this apartment and the, the first tenants have actually just moved out yesterday and the new tenant is moving in in two days time. So I thought I'd take this opportunity just to come over here, have a look. It's been a year, I haven't seen it. Just to see kind of what it's looking like, if there's any damage or anything like that. And just to show you guys, so obviously if you are regulars, you will know what this apartment looks like, but there's lots of new people on this channel which haven't seen this apartment. So I bought this three years ago. It's a new build by Red Row and it's just a one bed apartment in Essex. So yeah, I thought I'd take you around, show you what it looks like, show you any damage I can spot as well. I just thought it'd be a fun video. So yeah, let the empty apartment tour slash inspection commence. <laughs> so when you first walk in, this is the door. Um, it's a really lovely door actually. It's one of them, I don't know what it's called, but it's got the nice design down it. I really, really like it. It's white. And then it's got the nice handle. It's like that triple lock, you know, the really, really secure, really safe sort of lock. And then you first walk in and you are greeted by the utility cupboard. So I thought this was actually such a great feature for this apartment because, you know, you really need the space, especially in a one bed. And you open this up. I love the fact it's got the double doors and I love the doors in this apartment too. The ladder doors, I think they're called. They're just so modern and they look lovely. So yeah, in here is a little utility cupboard and I think it's a really great space. So you have the washer dryer in there. And then there's just a little laundry basket. I didn't actually put that there, so the last people have left it, which is kind. So yeah, in here you have a nice shelf, and this matches the kitchen as well, so it matches the kitchen worktops. And there's just loads and loads and loads of space in here. So this could be a really great cupboard. I never utilized it to its full potential when I lived here, but you could certainly pop loads and loads of shelves up in here. So for me personally, I use this for all of my toiletries, um, and my towels, and my washing as well. So yeah, it's a really great cupboard, a nice amount of space, and like, I say it could be definitely used more efficiently than it currently is i'm just getting the boring bits out of the way and then we can go on, get on to the exciting rooms afterwards so yeah this is the front door so like i say so that cupboard's here and then to your right hand side you have another cupboard so i was one of the only people that actually got this second cupboard um because a lot of people had a bigger hallway space whereas i opted for the flat with less hallway space and more cupboard space so this is the little cupboard okay it's actually a really good size like Literally, it can walk in here. It's really, really big again. Could definitely pop a load of shelves up in here and make this a really good space. It also has a light in here as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really great cupboard. It's just where all like the internet's controlled and all that stuff and whatever this is. I don't really understand all that stuff, but yeah, it's a good size cupboard. You could pop up some rails in here and have all your coats and stuff, and then you could use it for your like uh, Hoover and stuff like that. So then here you have the intercom and then also a radiator to the left of the cupboard. I love this because it's actually a screen so you can see who's there and you can unlock and let them in. You can talk through this as well. It's a really cool feature, really nice and modern. So then here is the hallway. Ignore any little bits and pieces. I've obviously left my shoes off. So the flooring, because I might get asked about this, it's from UK Flooring Direct. I believe it is called Gravel Oak from memory. It's a really lovely, lovely flooring. I really love it. How many times do I want to say love? but it's a really nice, like warm gray sort of tone. It's just, I think it's really pretty and it was really affordable too. So yeah, that's the flooring and it runs throughout the entire apartment other than the bathroom. So on the right hand side here, I left a mirror up. It's just from the range. I think it was about 25 pounds and just thought that'd be nice for them because I didn't want any damage being done to the property. To the left hand side, you have my, well not my, but you have my old bedroom and it's just a one bed, so obviously this bedroom has to be spectacular. So first off, you have a mirror wardrobe that goes from floor to ceiling. So this was an added extra. It only cost me another £95. It was really affordable. And then inside, you just have a rail up there, and then you have a shelf bit as well. So it wasn't the biggest of wardrobes. I mean, Lola's testing it out right now. What do you think, Lola? <laughs> but yeah, it was, a, it was an okay size. You know, you could put all your shoes down here hang all your clothes up and then have your bags and stuff up there. So it was okay. I feel like for two people, this probably would be quite difficult, but for just me, it was okay at the time, although I did have a lot of clothing at my parents' house. And then let me just kind of give you a spin around of this room. So it's it's a nice size room, but this this is what wins it for me every time. When I saw this on the designs, I just thought, wow, like this really does sell it to me. I think it's so beautiful. I love the floor to ceiling, or almost floor to ceiling windows. Just lets so, 
it lets so much light in and it's just yeah i feel like it's a real feature it looks so pretty so this is what this side looks like so i used to have a double bed here two bedside cupboards and loads of room there was so much room you could pop a desk here if you wanted to you could have a dressing table along here if you wanted to the possibilities are endless i personally had my dressing table this side so I had a dressing table here and a chair. So there's so many options for this room. Although it's a one bed, I feel like you really can maximize the space because there is so much room. So yeah, you can definitely fit a nice amount of stuff in here. Um, it's a lovely bedroom. And Lola is thoroughly enjoying looking out here. This is actually um, like a drainage thing out here. It's really weird. Don't know if anyone has one of these, but yeah, it, it, it used to look horrendous. When I first bought this place, this thing looked absolutely horrendous. And they said over time it will, develop and grow and look prettier i think it's it's coming along quite nicely as you can see just to give you like a little overview of this place so this is another block of apartments this side my one is only four flats in one and it actually looks like a house on the outside so this one is really pretty too i love the design of red row i think they just look stunning but my block is literally like that that sort of size it's really small and it's just like, attached to the end of one of these so you've got like one of them then a tiny little block like that and that's what mine looks like um you can't really see it but you can see it's black um it's a really nice exterior and then you have these little gardens downstairs now the annoying thing actually about this is these gardens are communal but where they're directly in front of the flat behind they basically get a garden and then obviously you, you can't really use it because you don't want to go into the bit right in front of their house so that's kind of annoying in hindsight i wish i got the ground floor because then i would have ended up with a garden as well but you know it doesn't matter now i'm not here anymore but you know in hindsight <laughs> um so yeah that is the bedroom just bought lola's bed so she can sit there i'll do the bathroom last because i'm gonna take you through to the living room and then we'll get on we'll get on to any like damage afterwards i just wanted to do the tour first but this is the living space it's a really nice generous size living space i left the bracket on the wall for whoever is here again just because i think that's more modern and it stops them having to faff around and all that stuff and then i also left oh that's wonky so the um the railing up there looks wonky for the for the, cur the curtain pole sorry so you've got two lights up there i used to have two pretty lights and it's a really nice space to have a sofa here i used to have a dining table here as well so it's quite a nice big open plan living like dining living space and let me pop the lights on just so it looks a bit nicer um and then yeah you've got these nice french doors they open up sadly there's not a balcony there's just one of them juliet balconies so you can't actually you know step onto a balcony but it's still really nice that you've got this because it again it lets so much light in i feel like red row really did well with the big windows and everything because it just lets all that light in and just looks really nice and then this side is personally like my favorite spot i feel like i say that about it all but i absolutely love the kitchen so so much like they really really did well with this kitchen because i just think for how the size of the flat you feel like you've got a lot of space so look at this kitchen i love it so much so it's gloss white and then you've got the same worktop as the utility and i'll just give you a little run through so yeah the fridge is like so storage above the fridge as well and then the freezer is down here and then here you've got all integrated appliances that came as standard so you've got your microwave you've got your oven here and then the storage on this is great so you've got storage above here and then you've got some underneath here as well and then this oh, i love this look at this it's like your own little pantry i just think this is so cool i used to have all my spices and herbs and everything in here it's so nice and then this is another storage cupboard so this is where i'd have all my food and everything like that then you've got another one here and this is like one of them big cupboards that actually goes in it's like a decent sized cupboard and then you've got this one which this would be where a dishwasher would go so this is all plumbed behind for a dishwasher no you can't go in there so <laughs> and then this one is the cleaning cupboard sorry if this is boring guys but i just thought you might be interested if you're especially if you're someone that's like looking to buy a um house from red row it's nice to know the sort of thing you're going to get but you can just see there is so much storage the drawers are in really, oh this looks a bit looks a bit damaged oh it's still got the um i didn't know that it still has the the plasticky thing on it oh i might take it off in a minute so the new person has a cleaner space and then you've got these lovely drawers with glass they're all like soft closed drawers as well and then you've got this one you get the gist guys but yeah and then finally the boiler cupboard as well with an ideal standard 
boiler. And then you've got the induction hob. Love this. So much better than gas. I've got gas now and I hate it. And then the extractor fan as well. So yeah, I love the kitchen. Like I keep saying, I'm repeating myself so much. But for a one bed flat, I really think this kitchen is really, really lovely. It's the same sort of size kitchen you'd get in like a two, three bed house, to be honest. Like it's a really, really decent size. And then we're going to go into the bathroom. So here is the bathroom. There's no ensuite or anything like that. But the flooring in here is from UK Flooring Direct. But it's, um, what is it? It's vinyl, I think it's called. You can see the difference. Very similar though, but just slightly different. No, no, we're not going outside just yet, love. So you've got a nice bath, shower here with the glass panel. And then these lovely tiles. I think they're by a brand called Johnson something um but they're just like a darkish gray you know that sort of effect and then you've got your little sink i like the fact that it's um you know it's all modern and stuff like this is different from where i live now because it's an older house so to see these more modern appliances like the toilet and stuff it's quite nice because i don't have that anymore but yeah got a nice modern sink and toilet and then yeah the windows above there it's a little bit of a weird setup where the mirror that I put, I left this mirror for them as well, but it's above the toilet and then you haven't got a mirror there. Like that's a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. It's got all the extractors. It's got um, spotlights as well. And then you've got your heated towel rail there as well. So yeah, I think it's a lovely little bathroom. It's a nice size and it's nice and modern. And then I forgot to show you, but you also have spotlights in the kitchen. And then you also have these under lights here. So they light up the kitchen so they look really lovely so now i'm going to go around and inspect and just show you guys of any damage i know there is a little bit nothing major at all but um obviously there's gonna be wear and tear at the property but i just wanted to just show you the sort of things that have been picked up because i actually received a property inspection report from the estate agents because they review it before the new tenants come in so um, i've been asked if i could just review that and see but i thought i'd rather come in person to sign it off instead of just looking at pictures so on one of the doors, for example, we've got this part here. So I'm not really sure how that's happened. It just looks like the bottom of the door is kind of peeling up. Um, bit of a shame, really, because, you know, the doors are only three years old. So I don't really know what's kind of happened there. But yeah, that's the first thing. And then we've got things like, um, I mean, this is probably just standard wear and tear. But you've got, like, the bottom of the door, the entrance door is peeling up here. And just this is all scuffed, you know, the skirting boards. It's where the entrance is. I'm guessing it's where people have come in and out. There's a lot of dinks in the wall. Wow. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Let me just try and focus. I really hope you can. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the entrance door. But can you see how many dinks there are? Like, there's so many dinks on the wall. I don't know what on earth's happened. It was not like that when I last left it. <laughs> but look at that. Can you see? Loads of like bubbles almost, it looks like, have come out the wall and like all here. Looks a bit weird, like, I don't really know what's happened here for that. Um, it's nothing major, but it's just, you know, it's the reality, I guess, of people moving in and out. There was a few other things like that that I found on the report, but it's hard to um, find it. I mean, there's just little things, like this is just wear and tear, you know, very minor. That's like little paint scuffs that I can touch up. And then also, I know that there was a dink in one of the door frames. I'm just trying to find out what door frame that was. But yeah, one of the door frames has had like a big chunk taken out of it. Just trying to find it. So like a big kind of dink out of the door frame as well. So I guess if you're looking to get a rental property, just be mindful that like it might not be 100% the same state that you left it in when you come and visit it. Obviously, like I say, this happens with any house. You know, if you have your own house. After a few years, you're going to start noticing little dinks and stuff like that. But um, the stuff I'm noticing, I personally didn't do in the time I lived here. So it's a little um, disappointing from the sense of like, oh, you know, but it is what it is really. So yeah, I'm just going to have a look around, see what else there is. I can I can notice that like, on the skirting board, there's loads of like, it just looks like it needs painting again, really. Um, I don't know anyone that's lived in a new build more than three years. Like maybe this is just what happens. But yeah, that's kind of... All I can see, it just looks like it could do with a bit of a fresh lick of paint and just a touching up on all the skirting boards and like filling in some bits where the dinks have obviously like come out the wall. There's a lot of um, like scrape marks on the wall as well, like loads of black scrapes. Again, probably where people have been in and out. Can you see that? Like it looks like fingerprints almost, like marks all the way down there. Um, 
there's all on the front door as well, like black marks. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's quite a lot of black marks. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it useful or just interesting if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen all this stuff before. Um, I just want to show you the dining space just from a separate angle. So when you walk in to the living space, boom, the kitchen's there. And then this is like the main um, living area. So yeah, it's cute. I like it. Feels weird to be here after a whole year of not seeing it. Like it's always a bit of a bittersweet feeling coming back here because it's my first place I ever had. I didn't really live here much, so like it's a weird one because when I let go of it, like to rent out, I wasn't. I don't say I wasn't ready because I was obviously really excited for the next chapter, but I wasn't. Um, I hadn't like properly um, spent a lot of time here, you know. So it was a weird feeling because it's almost. I felt like I didn't use this to like its full potential when I was here. So it was kind of like a sad feeling to let it go. But at the same time, I wasn't that attached to it because I hadn't been here that long by myself. If that makes sense. So anyway, yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and um, you never know. I may end up doing another investment property tour in the future. Like that's definitely on my agenda and on my list. Like I would love, love, love to get another investment property. I don't know when. I'm planning in the next like two years or so, if all goes well. Like there's no pressure, obviously. But if I can hit my goals and stuff, then potentially in the next like two years, I might um, get another investment property. So that would be really exciting if I do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah! Bye guys. Oh, P.S. Really quick, if you are interested in properties and you love property, then I've I've moved to an older house and we've been renovating it since October last year. So I would love for you to subscribe if you're new around here because you would probably really enjoy them videos too. Because I know I love watching people's renovations. So yeah, I hope you like that as well. Bye. <laughs>